Hello all, welcome to the ninth session on online uh, 3D modeling using uh, Onshape platform. Uh, the main aim of this tutorial is to make an introduction on the loft feature. Okay. So the basic difference between a sweep feature and a loft feature is in sweep feature the profile which you are going to sweep through the trajectory won't change. It will not change. Okay. You cannot make any change there. Okay, if you are uh, sweeping a circle, uh, it should be throughout, it should be the circular shape. But when you uh, uh, go to loft, you can change the, the profile. Okay, so there should be a smooth transition from uh, one profile to another profile. For example, uh, the components like draft tubes. Okay, so the draft tubes you can see it, uh, uh, it has a varying cross sections. Okay, so it needs a smooth transition from one cross section to another cross, cross sessions okay so for such uh, components we we cannot uh, depend on sweep we have to do the loft okay here is one component i made with the loft feature you can see this is a reducer elbow uh, we will uh, draw this again first we start a uh, uh, part studio so that the dimension is here you can see uh, the inner dim dimension is uh, 46 and uh, the thickness is 2 mm so we will give a, a bottom circle as 50 and uh, the top circle uh, that is uh, uh, 21 plus 2 plus 2 that is 25 okay so bottom is uh, 50 top is uh, 25 and it is actually 50 mm away from uh, the datum okay so that is the center 50 mm and for this is also the the upper uh, lower session is also 50 mm uh, above the datum okay so with that uh, data we'll start sketching okay sketch i mean the top uh, plane you normal make a circle somewhere here with the dia dia 50 and center to center and it's also 50 okay that's finished we finish the sketch we'll go to the next sketch that will be on the right plane okay so that we are going to do on the right plane click the right right plane view normal okay so again you can make a circle with 25 dia and a distance of 50 that is also 50 from the base data okay so that's finished now we go for the trajectory to sweep uh, this uh, smaller dia to this higher dia for that we will do a sketch on this front plane you normal we'll make a arc with the center point arc okay so click this this is the center and you can see this will be the radius you can draw from here to here okay so that is the arc so that is the trajectory we are we are using to loft okay now our uh, sketch finished uh, we can directly go for the loft feature you can click on the loft we need a solid it should be a new component and this will be the start and this will be the end okay so you can see if you are not selected the trajectory uh, it will be a smooth transition with a minimum distance that is linearly it will be trans transited okay it will be like this okay so to select a path we can directly click on this path and we can select the path okay so you can see now uh, there is a smooth transition from this to this okay so now okay so our our uh, loft is finished so this is a simple loft uh, uh, example 
you can uh, now go for the shell command okay you can select the shell feature from uh, the toolbar then uh, click on this face and click on this face okay you can make it as the shell thickness as 2 mm okay so that is finished now you can see a hollow elbow okay now we are going to model uh, two flanges at the both ends for that what we are going to do we will first select this uh, plane uh, that is a top plane for sketching okay so uh, uh, we'll uh, again we'll go for a sketch we'll select the top plane for sketching uh, you can say view normal okay and you can make a circle all right again uh, the dimension we know that this is to this that is make it as 50 okay and the outer dia is 80 okay so you can make this as this as eight zero eighty okay so that's it now again one more circle I will draw okay that's here and we'll just may concentrate this and this okay if you see you can see both are concentric okay then what we'll do we'll make the dimension of the inner circle as uh, that will be uh, 46 okay so it will exactly match the okay now i will uh, make uh, uh, some construction lines okay so i'll make a point here and the dimension for that point is uh, for the bottom it is 62.5 okay so the dimension is 62.5 divided by 2 okay so I make this to this is 62 all right now I'm going for a patterning circular patterning click on the point and you move the center towards the center okay then uh, you need how many how many circles at the bottom 10 numbers right 10 through holes okay so make it as 10 okay and click it's finished okay so you have uh, the base sketch we finish now so we'll come here we'll go for uh, an extrude okay so the thickness is again that this 2 mm all right so we have the base flange now we have the base flange all right now again we will go to make a sketch on the right plane select sketch right plane make it view normal all right then we will make a circle Uh, 
and we know the center to this distance should be 5050 okay that is there then the diameter uh, the diameter of the outer is 50 okay so that will be 50 that would be 50 all right that is finished again one more circle click here make it as 21 okay so that is finished now again oh, we will make a point here and the distance from this to this point is the die of that circle is 35 so 35 divided by 2 35 divided by 2 okay that's finished we'll just check the constraints you can see okay so that is vertical okay so it is there now we'll go for a circular pattern again click on this point and we can move this to here make this as how many holes you have at the upper eight numbers okay so that is eight numbers so we make it eight and click it's it's finished okay so that sketch is also finished and now you can go for the extrude okay so you can just select the face for extrude ah. reverse the direction give 2 mm okay so that is finish okay so make this is also visible because we need these points for uh, making the holes okay so now finished okay so the whole dia we'll see the whole dia is 5 5 dia 5 okay so we'll go to make uh, the whole uh, whole set both flanges okay so for that you can click on the whole feature then you can make simple holes let's make it blind okay so make it blind And this sketch you can select, and this sketch you can select. Okay. Click. You can see the holes. Finished. Okay. Now we'll make a filleting here and this end. We want a slight chamfering at this end and this end. Okay. So for filleting, we'll click the fillet feature, make it as 0.25. I'll select this and this. Okay. So slight small filleting is given to that area okay and this edge also this edge and this we are giving a small chamfering so that is also sort of point two five we can make a sort of point two five chamfering this end and this end so that's it Can make all the sketch invisible and that's it finished okay so thank you for watching uh, bye bye